Hello again, everyone. So previously on DNC Music, I taught you guys how to create an 808 bass drum using the JX08. So today, what we're going to do is create a bass drum sequence using pitch velocity. All right, let's take a look. Okay, guys. So picking up where we left off last time, I created this bass drum sound using the JX08. All right, so. What we're going to do is we're going to take the same patch and we're going to create a sequence off of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit note mode and I'm going to go into sequencer mode. No, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to press start, hold it, and I'm going to cycle over to an empty pattern. Let's see. I can use my banks to accomplish this. Let's see. I don't think there's anything here, so, okay, good. We are in good shape. Notice how when I switched my pattern, the patch cycled all the way back to A11. That's normal. Uh, this is the reason why I always recommend selecting your patterns first. So let's go back to our patch. So let's see, I can... Go back to bank D, 8, and 4. Go to note mode, and we're back. Let's start creating our sequence here. Uh, I'm going to drop the octave, go into note mode. Oh, hold on. Go back. There we are. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go into note mode. I'm going to drop my octave. Good. <clears throat> All right. So... Now that I know how I want this to sound, or at least I know what note I want to use, I'm going to go into sequencer mode. I'm going to hold. I'm going to press start. Sequence starts running. I'm going to hold step number one. Press note mode again to activate the keyboard. And I'm going to make step number one G. If I exit note mode, you'll see that this step is illuminated. All right, so let's do that again, shall we? I'm going to hold this step, go into note mode, and now I can use my value knob to select different steps. So let's go to number five, same note. Uh, let's see. Suppose number nine. Same note. And then I'll insert the same note for step 15. Okay. Let's exit note mode. So here's our sequence. So let's stop for a moment and let's talk about what we're about to do next. So I'm using the same note for every step. Well, here's the thing. I can change the pitch of each note per step using velocity as a trigger. So let's exit sequencer mode. Let's go into menu mode. Underneath the parts menu, I'm going to tap the value knob. I'm going to cycle over to P velocity. I'm going to tap the value knob. I'm going to dial this all the way up to 3. I'll hit menu again, menu again, menu again, and here we are. So what was the purpose of that? What I've instructed the JX08 to do is to alter the pitch of each step according to its velocity. More specifically, the velocity is going to trigger the envelope which is patched to the DC01 pitch. So here we go. If I go back in sequencer mode, hold step number one and tap the velocity dial twice, I'm given access to its velocity. Now, If you notice, step number one's pitch just changed. 
This is the same thing with number two. Oh, and in this mode, all I have to do is just tap each of my active steps. Okay, so now we have a nice little pitch variety, but that's not all. The velocity is tethered to the envelope. The envelope is tethered, is, excuse me, the velocity is tethered to the envelope. The envelope is tethered to the pitch of DC01. Now, if you notice, DC01 has an envelope attenuator. So what's happening here? Well, the envelope attenuator is basically determining the impact or the effectiveness or the effect rather of the envelope on the pitch. In other words, the further to the right I dial the attenuator, the more of an impact the envelope has on the pitch, the less, well, the less it has an, uh, the less it has an impact on the pitch. Also notice this, right now I have my envelope mode set to number two, I'm, I'm sorry, the envelope mode is set to envelope number one. But notice how envelope number one has two modes. It has an attack, decay, sustain, release, but then it also has an inverted version of that. If I switch over to the inverted version, the pitch will dive or decrease. Because the pitch ascension or decline is entirely based on the envelope, then all I would have to do if I wanted to, you know, make further sound design alterations is manipulate the envelope. Um, right now I'm using envelope number one. So And basically, all I'm doing is I'm just making changes to the envelope phases as it relates to the pitch. And at this point, it's just a matter of taste and what you want your sequence to sound like. So, you know, the possibilities are endless, especially whenever we're dealing with um, envelope generators, uh, attenuators, et cetera, et cetera. It's a very modular, well, it's like pre-patched modular in a way. So either which way, this is a really quick way of creating a sequence using your envelope as a modulator. But beyond all of that, you can also use the velocity as a trigger for your modulator, that being the envelope. And 
experience, like I said before, at this point, it's entirely up to you. All right, guys, so that pretty much does it for pitch modulation using velocity as a trigger. So, um, yeah, that one's it's a little involved, I'll, I'll admit, I'll admit. But at the same time, it's really, really cool once you get it underneath your fingers. So if you guys have any questions about this topic or any other topics, please let me know. Drop a question in the comments. Until then, I'll talk with you guys soon. Thanks.